Got the new head in. Go ahead and install it. I'm not going to do any video on that because, well, I did it earlier, so it's just basically the same thing again, only with a new head. This one's nice and crack free. Let's get it installed. All right, before I change the head, I'm going to go ahead and just finish off the wires for the fan control. Got this switch to turn the fan on and off. I'm going to put it right here in the thermostat housing. Using my all 16s. <clears throat> well, kind of a nice thing about this sensor or switch is there's actually no hole in here. It just screws into the end, so if you ever have to change it, you're not going to draining and cooling or anything. Never used this style, so I guess we'll see how well it works. But It's just a on off switch so it doesn't really matter which wire goes to which end it's just got to complete the circuit That's all I could find locally it was the 14 gauge connectors and that's like a 18 gauge wire. I just doubled it over, give a little more meat to crimp on. Might change that later. Let me go that way. I don't know. We'll see when I put it back together how I end up liking the way the wires lay. I might actually like that better Maybe with the clamp right there. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to work on swapping the head out. Turn the glow plugs on. Wait a little bit. It's probably good. plugs off. Oh yeah, there's air in there. Don't seem to right. 
No gold plugs, crank it. Keep going. Try it with the glow plugs one more time. I think it's dark. Hold the pedal to the floor. No. Probably let it cool down for a bit. Batteries get low. Oh, it fired pretty good. It's got to be an air pocket because uh, air I keep cracking this one injector line and it keeps putting out bubbles. And when I got all the gauges set up, I got the exhaust temperature boost gauge, which will. I just wanted to run everything so everything was routed together and I have to keep taking the loom apart. And I still don't have the loom wrapped. I'll do that when everything's finalized. But eventually I plan to put a turbo on it and then got the tack gauge right there. And then just volts over here. When I first got it, I had a lot of charging issues. So I actually put it in a voltage gauge because by the time your battery light comes on, you're kind of screwed anyways. The voltage is so low. When I first put the diesel in it, I actually had these tires on it. They're Honda 15 inch wheels with 185, 65, 15s. Um, I was running them with the gas engine just to see how things would go and hills were definitely a lot worse, but it didn't seem to affect the mileage a whole lot on the gas engine. It was already pretty much doing all it had to begin with. So it, <clears throat> it was still getting about 40 miles a gallon with those, the gas engine, whether I had those on or the little stock size ones on, but after running a couple of tanks with the Kubota and getting about 40 miles a gallon and it just seemed like it was working hard watching the exhaust temperature and everything I went ahead and put the stock size ones back on and now I'm getting 50 miles a gallon running at uh, 55 much over that and the engine starts to run out of RPM so the bigger tires were nice because when the speedometer said 55 I was actually doing 60-ish, <clears throat> according to, you know, calculations. Um, and then for the mileage, for the 40 miles a gallon on the bigger tires, that was actually accounting for their larger rotation and doing all the math on that and everything. If you just did it straight out without accounting for them being a larger diameter, it was like 30-something miles a gallon, 35, I think-ish.
like a champ. 